Hey there, Hushpup here, playing some LEGO Legacy Heroes Unboxed. It's the anniversary party, it's back. Speaking of, last time this event was here, we nearly got Gorewell to 6 stars. And so that's the minifigure we've been focusing on this time around. We've been looting this node like crazy. As you can see, we can't even loot it anymore until it refreshes in an hour and 8 minutes. We've also been going after some Santa tiles, as Santa's a really strong minifigure. As you can see, we can actually power him up now, which is cool. And then any leftover energy we've just been dumpy into random minifigures here such as Nonsearch and Leo. This event's quite cool as well actually because it's celebrating the 90 years of play so it's technically celebrating the anniversary of LEGO rather than the anniversary of this game which does make sense. They've also been giving a bunch of gems, tiles and coins every day so day three we got 15 gems, 10 tiles for Poppy, 10 tiles for Aurora and 10 tiles for Santa. So this is a pretty good event if you're a newer player as you're going to be getting a lot of tiles for minifigures you may not have unlocked yet or ones you need to power up further. Now there are two Mr. Moneybags quests on so you know what we're going to do, we're going to go and power up some of our minifigures. There's actually a smaller one on and also a bigger one. We only care about the bigger one but it's nice to get the smaller one for free anyway. Always good to wait and see. Right, let's go to our heroes. So in the last video we managed to get Super Wrestler available to power up to 7 stars, so we're going to start off with that. There we go. 1.5 million coins spent. 7 star Super Wrestler. It's quite a milestone we're actually able to get him up that high. I remember when the event for both him and the Corn Cup guy came out, and it was such a long road to get them this far as a free-to-play player. I think Corn Cup guy, yeah, he's still only 6 stars, but when the event comes back round again, I think we should be able to get him all the way up to 7 stars. Alright, Santa. Another minifigure. There we go, he's at 5 stars now. So I should be able to start using him actually in a lot of content and he should be able to hold his own. Of course he won't be a match for the people that have got them all the way up to 7 stars, but still. He's going to be pretty formidable. Alright, let's head on over to the space category because Gorwell... We actually did get enough tiles for her to get her up to 6 stars. This is huge as well. I remember when Gorwell was... A very highly sought out minifigure and you could only really get her from the minifigure bags. You have to be so lucky to, to get tiles for her. But luckily there's a few ways you can get her for free now. It just takes a long time to farm for her. We're also going to go and check something else as well. Since you can buy Andreas tiles from the shop, we're going to see if we have enough currency to get enough to get him up to five stars. I'm not sure if we do. As unfortunately these only give you three tiles per 900 currency spent. Oh, we did, it's just enough. We had just enough to do it. It's actually quite funny because when we were buying tiles there, it wasn't really updating the count until we came back to this page. But yep, 75 out of 75, let's go. And there we go, Spaceman Andreas is also five stars. So we did a lot of minifigures. It's been a while since we've been able just to level up so many at once. And Leo's really close as well. I wonder if we focus all of our attention on Leo. Would he actually be able to get up to 7 stars? Probably. Although I might not do it though, because otherwise we'll run out of minifigures to farm in the early adopters event. And we do want to be able to make sure we're not wasting energy. So we'll leave him for that. But yeah, Santa is a priority. I'm not sure if I'll continue doing Gorwell as much, because you know 6 stars is enough. 7 stars is obviously ideal. But there's a lot of tiles to go to get her there. Could just start getting more for Santa and maybe a few for Malok. I don't know. It's so many to go to be able to get him up. I don't think I've even constructed him yet, have I? No, I haven't even built him yet. Or maybe we can spare a few for him, but you know, Santa and the space minifigures, way more interesting, I think. There's also the Reaper, but it's quite funny. I think when I played this... I got unlucky and one minifigure died, so I would actually have to play this again to be able to loot it. Oh, maybe we'll do that later. For now though, we still got a bunch of coins to spend, and we are now level 72, so we can go and level up more minifigures to match. In the last video we actually already did this for a bunch of our main ones, so we're going to have to just go and pick different ones to level up. Yeah, let's do Basil. Trying to make sure I do ones that I also use in Brexpedition and such. 
Actually, it might be quite useful to get Commander Cole to 70. One, because it's a lot of coins, and two, sometimes you do use them. We only need a bit more. Oh, we could level up Enio. Just need to make sure that we select enough so that it just about covers us for the quest. I think this is about it. There we go. We can also gear him up a mini bit. Why not? He's not going to be usable for a long while, but hey, he's here. When we have another Mr. Moneybags quest, we can go and power up all of his abilities and such, and that'll be fun. A Grim Helm is also one tile away. That's interesting. Yeah, <laughs> these are probably my least upgraded minifigures, the spooky army ones. Because of how many minifigures that were released in these guys' event, it was very difficult to actually be able to farm enough tiles for all of them. It's going to take ages. But hey, we'll get there eventually. Alright, so that's it for the minifigure powering up portion. I guess now we need to go and claim all of the rewards we've just earned. Which does include some more Malak tiles. I'll take those. And a whole bunch of other useful materials. In fact, most of it is spooky army tiles. Interesting. Well, there's another five. Also got one here. I don't think we'll be able to get this one. But that's okay. Actually, we, we could. We might. It gives us Gorwell tiles, actually, so it might be worth it. Now this one's less interesting, but we do need those experience scrolls, so it is worth claiming. We've also got a few of these to get as well. This is for spending all of our event currency in the shop, for getting those nice Andreas tiles. Still got more to spend though. Oh, oh let's go back. For this one, we need to spend just over 200 more energy. I think we can do that. So what we're going to do is we're going to refresh this twice. We're going to go and loot Santa some more. There we go. And I guess we'll loot Malak a bit. There we go. Now that should be enough for the quest. Perfect, another five tiles for Gorwell. To finish it off, we are going to spend 200 more gems, as this type of event is worth spending that amount sometimes, just because there's so many good tiles to loot. We're going to go and get another one for Leo, bring us underneath the captain mount, and we're going to go and try and beat this one again. And last time, we had Scarlet and Cook Bard, and that didn't work out very well. So we're going to go and change some of these minifigures to try and beat this. So you have to take... Rita, you have to take Ernest. You can't take our Ernest, which is a shame. Although this one is max star rank, which is cool. You also get an Admiral. So I'm thinking, why don't we just take an Admiral of our own? There we go. Because the Admiral's really good. And then, we could take the Governor. But last time we did struggle with healing, so maybe we could keep Lee, and then we could keep Cook Bart. Like that might be quite good. So yeah, what we might do is we might take two admirals for the damage, take Cook Bart for the healing, and then take our Lee. Because you can also revive as well, and that might be handy if something happens. We'll try this. If it doesn't work, we'll replace the Cook with Valiant, as Valiant can be tanky and he can also heal, which is very useful. Right, with that, let's give it a go. Ali is not that strong, but it's okay. We got two Admiral non-suchers. And immediately, the Quay is losing a lot of health. Okay, but that gives Ernest a taunt. Very handy then. Do that twice. It's quite fun. Okay, Rita's got damage block on, that's good. There's a lot of counter attacks going on. Oh, someone already died on their team. That's nice. Oh no! Oh, we already lost one. I didn't get to even use these two yet. 
to heal. Their turn just never came. Oh, what needs to happen to trigger the revive? Whenever a Justice ally hero is defeated, there is a 40% chance to reassemble them. Well, that's already gone then, hasn't it? <laughs> no. Well, I might as well do it on auto. Well, you know what we might do? We might just do this again, but leave it on auto to let the AI do the decisions. Because maybe they won't let Rita die. Oh, the auto rest of this team made it to the final wave. I mean, they're really strong. I and mean, look at them go. They've got so many buffs, they're all at full health. We just have to keep that one minifigure alive. Yeah, it's definitely just down to RNG then with the paybacks and such who gets hit. Cool. Well, I mean, we still get the loot, we just don't get to gold it, which is what we want to do. Uh, we'll try that again. Yes, we're still going to do the same team, although the cook didn't get to do much. His turn just never came, which is really, really dumb. Okay, let's go. We're going to do that again, and immediately she gets hit. And we're not going to open up with the same trumpet attack because it doesn't really stop payback happening. Right, non such. Get rid of one of theirs. Two non suches down. <laughs> There's a whole line of Laquays. That's quite cool actually. Let's put heal over time on Rita. Okay, that's one down. Oh finally, okay we can use a cook bar there. Very nice. Let's do two of those, although we're going to get a lot of paybacks from the front lines here. We're going to go and put the taunt on because this nonsuch is nearly dead. This can... oh, two buffs they get disarmed. Okay, so if we do this on one of these guys... Not that it's really useful though, because... Like, what abilities does a Laquay have that are dangerous? Not really any. Blocking them is kind of pointless. Okay. Oh, that was a lot of back and forth. It's fine. So far, so good. He's got a lot of turns doing stuff. Oh, someone got hit by something. I know damage block. We're gonna put that on again. The reason why is the non suchers can just heal themselves with their big abilities. Alright, here we go. You can get to full health now. Yeah, it looks like we should be able to do this, barring any bad luck. Okay, cool. We got rid of one straight away. Oh, this also heals our allies as well. Well, we might save that for the next turn. I don't think there'll be a next turn. They're just falling. <laughs> We're dealing so much damage. Okay, yeah, there's no way they can win now. They don't have any heavy hitters left. Don't even need to use the last boat. Okay, one more. Oh! It got paybacked to death. Yeah, we did it! Nice. Not that I'm actually going to be looting this node anytime soon, but it's nice to have it golded. Now we have the whole of chapter 2. With gold trophies. Well, with that, going to end the video here. As I really want to wait for the other nodes to refresh. Santa and also Corwell before I spend more event currency but it was a lot of fun we managed to catch up with where we are and what we're farming the anniversary event is very good for getting a lot of different minifigures and we managed to power up a whole bunch of our team even further we're one step closer to getting the entire classic space up to seven stars so thank you very much for watching and I'll see you guys next time